10 a.m. update. Uh, Sandy had sustained winds of 90 miles an hour and was moving north-northwest at 18 miles an hour. By the time it makes landfall again, it's expected to change from a hurricane into a frontal or a wintertime low-pressure system, according to the National Weather Service, but they don't expect it to weaken any. Station Houston on two for the CWC fill. Again, seeing here a live view of Hurricane Sandy as the International Space Station flies above it, uh, about 260 miles above the Atlantic Ocean. Awesome, thank you very much. This is uh, the first pass that uh, crew has made over it today, and the team here on the ground did give them heads up so that they could take uh, still photos of it as well. So we may be seeing more of those later. But they'll also have a chance later in the day to take photos again at 11.52 uh, a.m. Central Time. That's when the space station is scheduled to pass over the area again, and we'll plan to put views from the external cameras out live to NASA TV at that time as well. Houston Station on 2, we are complete with vacuuming in Node 2, moving on to Node 1. If you can re-enable smoke detection Node 2 and inhibit in Node 1, that would be great. Copy, in work, standby just one. 